Movies and promotional tie-ins. With pretty much any major movie that comes out these days, it only makes sense that the movie studios and restaurants would come together to promote the film. From green Grinch pancakes to a collection of fiery footlongs to promote the Hunger Games catching fire, there's no shortage of weird themed restaurant foods to help you get excited for an upcoming movie. Or absolutely disgust you. Whatever comes first. X2 Baskin Robbins Ice Cream We asked Wolverine of the new movie X2, X-Men United, to design a new sundae for us. Outstanding! Try Wolverine's Berry Rampage Sunday. Now, that's a We asked Storm of the new movie X2, X-Men United, to use her powers to create a new Sunday for us. Impressive! Try the X-Men Chocolate Vortex Sunday now at Baskin Robbins. For the release of the second X-Men movie in 2003, Fox and Marvel partnered up with the ice cream makers at Baskin Robbins to create and sell multiple separate ice cream flavors for the highly anticipated film. These included X-Mint, which was a dark chocolate ice cream with Oreo cookies and a swirl of blue mint ice cream, and Extreme Berry Sherbet, along with a sundae themed around Storm, which was a chocolate vortex sundae, which appears to have been your typical chocolate sundae as well as a sundae themed around Wolverine called Wolverine's Berry Rampage Sundae, which contained the extreme berry sherbet flavor with strawberry topping, whipped cream, wild berry nerds, and a blue raspberry sour punch straw X. Which, I don't know about you guys, but that sounds absolutely delicious. Shazam Zaxby Sandwiches This is no ordinary chicken sandwich, cause underneath that toasted potato bun, is the hot taste of Nashville. Introducing the new Zaxville Hot Sandwich with a hand-breaded chicken filet smothered in peppery Zaxville hot sauce with sweet and zesty pickles. The new Zaxville Hot and Honey Butter and Bacon Filet Sandwich Meals for a limited time, only at Zaxby's. And don't miss Shazam. Shazam! Rated PG-13, experience it in IMAX. For the release of the Shazam movie in 2019, Fast food chicken chain Zaxby's teamed up with Warner Brothers to offer two different chicken sandwiches loosely themed around the film. These included the Zaxville Hot Sandwich, as well as the Honey Butter and Bacon Sandwich. The Zaxville Hot featured a Nashville Hot Sauce and Zesty Pickles on the chicken sandwich, whereas the Honey Butter and Bacon Sandwich featured bacon and was topped with honey butter. I remember having the Honey Butter and Bacon Sandwich when this promotion was happening, and it was quite good from what I remember. Now, you're probably thinking, what do these sandwiches have to do with Shazam? Well, nothing. You see, aside from haphazardly slapping a Shazam advert onto the commercial for the sandwich and proclaiming on restaurant signs that lightning strikes twice, that's where the theming kind of stopped. Though it is worth pointing out that Zaxby's restaurants also featured a cardboard standee of Shazam that you could get a photo with. I mean, I can't say the promotion didn't work because I bought one of the sandwiches. IHOP themed tie-in menus. You can't talk about themed movie tie-in food without talking about the king of themed movie tie-in food. Since at least 2008, IHOP has had several movie tie-ins grace the walls of their restaurants. Mainly focusing on family-friendly films such as The Addams Family or The Minions movies, these menus typically consist of several items themed around said films. The first tie-in, at least that I could find info on, was for the Horton Hears a Who movie in 2008. This menu featured four items. Who cakes, which were pancakes topped with blue and pink glazes, colorful chocolate chips, and a pink bubblegum flavored lollipop. I definitely remember having these when I was 11, and they were as sweet as they sound. The mayor's breakfast, which were green eggs that had been scrambled with spinach and ham. Jojo's kids breakfast, a short stack of who cakes, a scrambled green egg, and a smaller piece of ham. The final item was Bezel Nut Splash, a lemon lime soda with cubes of floating cherry and blueberry jello. For the release of Despicable Me in 2010, IHOP offered up minion berry pancakes, cinna minions, loaded minion taters, and minionade, which was a strawberry lemonade topped with sprinkles. For Illumination's adaptation of the Lorax in 2012, IHOP's offerings included truffula chip pancakes topped with strawberry yogurt sauce and rainbow sprinkles. Rudy Tooty Barba Ludi Blueberry Cone Cake, which was a pancake with blueberries stuffed into an ice cream cone 
topped with a blueberry compote and sprinkled with powdered sugar. And the Lorax's breakfast, which was green eggs and ham, served with a choice of buttermilk pancakes. There was also mac and cheese and truffula trees. This was Kraft brand macaroni and cheese with broccoli. It was served with fresh fruit. The menu also featured Pipsqueak's breakfast, which was a kid-sized version of the Lorax's breakfast. In 2018, for the release of Illumination's adaptation of How the Grinch Stole Christmas, IHOP rolled out the green carpet with a Grinch-themed menu. The menu featured such dishes as the Grinch's green pancakes, two Grinch green buttermilk pancakes topped with sweet cream cheese icing, red candy hearts, and green whipped cream, minty who hot chocolate, hot chocolate with mint syrup topped with creamy green whipped cream and red candy hearts, who roast beast omelet, an omelet filled with shredded beef, Monterey Jack and cheddar cheese, sauteed jalapenos, onions, and golden hash browns topped with barbecue sauce, more shredded cheese, and a serrano pepper. It also came with three buttermilk pancakes. Whoville Holiday Cheesecake French Toast, which was two King's Hawaiian Rolls, French toasted and layered with creamy cheesecake filling, raspberry topping, and whipped cream. And the Mount Crumpet Kids Combo, which came with Grinch Green Buttermilk Pancakes, topped with cream cheese icing, red candy hearts, and green whipped cream, plus one scrambled egg, one bacon strip, and one sausage link. There was also a kid's version of the Minty Who Hot Chocolate called the Young Grinch Minty Who Hot Chocolate. In 2019, to promote the upcoming animated adaptation of The Addams Family, IHOP scared up a spooky breakfast menu offering such items as Wednesday's Web Cakes, which were IHOP's signature pancakes topped with icing, a Hershey's chocolate syrup web, and a whipped violet topping. Morticia's Haunted Hot Chocolate, which was a toasted marshmallow hot chocolate topped with a whipped violet topping with a drizzle of Hershey's chocolate syrup. Gomez's Green Chili Omelette, which contained marinated pulled pork, Jack and Cheddar cheeses, fire roasted red and green peppers, and green chili sauce topped with sour cream. The dish was served with three pancakes or a side of your choice. Uncle Fester's Chocolate Ice Cream Shake, which was a Hershey's Chocolate Ice Cream Shake topped with violet whip topping. And the Kooky Kids Combo, which consisted of one web cake served with a scrambled egg, a piece of bacon, and a sausage link. In 2022, the Minions returned to IHOP to promote the release of Minions The Rise of Gru. This menu featured Baba Banana Pudding Pancakes, which were buttermilk pancakes filled with fresh banana slices and topped with creamy banana pudding, more banana slices, Nilla Wafer Cookie Pieces, whipped topping, and Minion Sprinkles. Cinnamon Minions, which were donut holes tossed with cinnamon sugar and drizzled with cream cheese icing. Gru's Evil Steak Burger which was an all-natural black Angus steak burger piled high with a spicy blend of sautéed jalapenos, serrano peppers and onion, hickory smoked bacon, pepper jack cheese, sharp cheddar mac and cheese, and mayo. It was served in a brioche bun with a choice of a side. Baba Banana Milkshake, which was a vanilla milkshake blended with fresh bananas and Noah wafer cookie pieces, crowned with a whipped topping, more cookie pieces, and minion sprinkles. Minion Mango OJ Splasher, which was a blend of 100% premium orange juice, mango syrup, and lemon lime soda garnished with fresh blueberries. Cold Brew Iced Coffee, which was just a regular cold brew iced coffee. The Mischievous Minion Kids Combo, which came with one banana pudding pancake served with a strip of bacon, a sausage link, and scrambled eggs. And the Cinnamon Minions Family Feast. A basket of 20 cinnamon minions with a side of cream cheese icing for dipping, accompanied by four servings of scrambled eggs and golden hash browns, eight hickory smoked bacon strips, and eight pork sausage links. Finally, in 2023, IHOP entered a world of pure imagination with their menu themed to the Wonka movie. This sweet menu contained the following. Wonka's perfectly purple pancakes, which were purple buttermilk pancakes layered with cheesecake mousse and topped with purple cream cheese icing, whipped topping, and gold glitter sugar. Hover chalk pancake tacos, three silver dollar chocolate pancakes folded and filled with chocolate chips, cheesecake mousse, sliced strawberries, and a chocolate drizzle. Served with extra strawberries on the side. Daydream berry biscuit, a buttermilk biscuit split and filled with cheesecake mousse, a mixed berry topping, topped with purple cream cheese icing and powdered sugar. The Junior Magical Breakfast Medley, which came with one Wonka's Perfectly Purple Pancake, one scrambled egg, one bacon strip, and one pork sausage link. 
Willie's Junior French Toast Dippers, which was sliced French toast with a side of strawberries, banana, and chocolate dipping sauce. Dreamy Lemonade, prickly pear flavored lemonade served with cream cheese, icing rainbow sprinkle rim, and topped with cotton candy. The Scrum Diddly Umptious Strawberry Hot Chocolate, which was hot chocolate flavored with strawberry syrup, topped with whipped topping, a drizzle of chocolate sauce, and gold glitter sugar. And the Fantastical Wonka Burger, 100% USDA Choice Black Angus Beef Steak Burger with lettuce, tomato, onion, pickles, a four cheese blend, avocado, two strips of bacon, fried hash browns, IHOP sauce, and a ranch drizzle on a brioche bun, which was then served with a choice of one side. I actually got to try this menu back in December of last year, having both the lemonade and the Wonka burger. And while the burger was very good, the lemonade was sickeningly sweet to a point where it actually made me sick. Which goes to show that some things just simply don't need to exist. Hunger Games Catching Fire, Fiery Footlongs. Bold can be standing up for what you believe in. Bold can be testing your limits and defying all odds. And now, Bold can be found at Subway. Fiery Footlongs, a revolution in bold taste. Sizzling subs like the new Sriracha Chicken Melt, drizzled in our own signature Sriracha, made with a select blend of chili peppers for our boldest flavor yet. Get yours and get to theaters November 22nd for The Hunger Games Catching Fire. Subway, be bold, eat fresh. I couldn't make this one up if I tried. So for the release of the second Hunger Games movie, Catching Fire, in 2013, Subway and Lionsgate partnered together to offer what Subway called the Fiery Footlong Collection, a menu of various footlongs themed around the general theme of heat. Because sure, a story about food shortages and inequality is the perfect movie to cook up some new sandwiches for. The Fiery Footlong Collection consisted of four subs, Sriracha Chicken Melt, Sriracha Steak Melt, Buffalo Chicken, and a Turkey Jalapeno Melt. The Sriracha Melts were both new for this menu, with the others having been available previously. Whether this promotion was the brightest idea or not, it's definitely brought us some laughs all these years later. Taco Bell Congo Volcano Burrito Now you can see all the excitement and adventure of the Congo in your local theater, or you can taste it at Taco Bell. Introducing the Volcano Burrito, piled high with seasoned beef, beans, rice, a blend of three cheeses, and flowing with fiery red sauce. If you're hungry for excitement, get the new Volcano Burrito at Taco Bell. But hurry, at just 99 cents, a taste eruption like this won't be active for long. In 1995, to promote the film Congo, Taco Bell released the Volcano Burrito. This was a burrito with seasoned beef, beans, rice, a three cheese blend, and what was described as a fiery red sauce. The release of the movie came and went, with reviews being fairly negative overall. Once the promotion ended, so too did the Volcano Burrito. It wouldn't be until 2009 when Taco Bell would reintroduce the burrito, adding fiesta strips and replacing the fiery red sauce with lava sauce. This rendition of the burrito soon became a fan favorite. Which makes it kind of funny that this now infamous burrito started out as a tie-in for a now often forgotten film. Denny's Hobbit Menu Look Grandma, they have a Hobbit Menu. I know, apparently they base an entire movie off of it. Try the all new Hobbit inspired menu, only at Denny's, and see The Hobbit in Unexpected Journey. In 2012, to promote the release of The Hobbit, An Unexpected Journey, Denny's prepared a menu of Hobbit-themed items to satisfy even the most hungry of adventurers. This menu featured such dishes as Hobbit Hole Breakfast, which consisted of two eggs fried into the center of two cheddar cheese buns, two slices of bacon, and crispy hash browns topped with melted shredded cheddar cheese and more bacon. The Shire Sausage Skillet, a savory Shire sausage with seasoned redskin potatoes, sautéed mushrooms, and fire-roasted peppers and onions served in a hot sizzling skillet. This was then topped with shredded cheddar and served with two eggs that were cooked any way that you would have liked. Frodo's Pot Roast Skillet, which was a slow-cooked pot roast, herb-roasted carrots, celery, mushrooms and onions over broccoli, and seasoned red-skinned potatoes served on a hot sizzling skillet. 
The dish was then topped with shredded cheddar and served with a side of bread. The ring burger, which was a hand-pressed burger topped with pepper jack cheese, sautéed mushrooms, and mayo on a grilled cheddar cheese bun. It was then crowned with three crispy onion rings and served with lettuce, tomatoes, red onions, pickles, and a side of fries. Gandalf's Gobble Melt, which contained tender sliced turkey breast and savory stuffing topped with melted Swiss cheese on grilled potato bread with a cranberry honey mustard spread. This was then served with a customer's choice side and a side of gravy to dip the sandwich in. Dwarves Turkey and Dressing Dinner, which was tender sliced turkey breast, savory stuffing, gravy, and cranberry sauce. The dish was served with a customer's choice of two sides and bread. There was also a senior size version of the meal for $2 less. The menu also contained the Build Your Own Hobbit Slam, a Middle Earth style take on the traditional Denny's Grand Slam. No, not that Grand Slam. That's the one. The Hobbit Slam allowed customers to pick one of the following Hobbit themed entrees, along with a variety of standards Denny sides. Seed cake French toast, a thick slice of lemon poppy seed cake French toast drizzled with cream cheese icing, Shire sausage, and pumpkin patch pancakes, which were standard pancakes topped with a pumpkin whipped topping and sprinkled with cinnamon sugar. The menu also featured four desserts. Lonely Mountain Treasure, which was the seed cake French toast cut into nine squares and served with a side of cream cheese icing for dipping. Radagast Red Velvet Pancake Puppies, six bite-sized round red velvet pancake puppies made with white chocolate chips and sprinkled with powdered sugar and served with a side of cream cheese icing for dipping. Bilbo's Berry Smoothie, a smoothie made with a blend of raspberries, blueberries, pomegranate, and non-fat yogurt. In Lone Land's Campfire Cookie Milkshake, a milkshake made with a blend of premium vanilla ice cream and s'mores cookie pieces topped with whipped cream. If these desserts weren't to your liking, the menu also featured Hobbit Harvest Pies, which consisted of a whole pumpkin pie, a pumpkin pie slice, and a pecan pie slice. Denny's also had a menu for the film sequel, The Hobbit, The Desolation of Smog, but I'll cover that menu in a future video. Hey everyone, Seeker here. I hope you all enjoyed the video, and if you did, please be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. I actually have a bit of news for you guys. I recently created a Patreon page, so if you guys wish to support me or my channel in any way, you can go there and do so. I have a few tiers for you guys to choose from, with each one offering various benefits. This is just another way for me to connect with you guys, but please keep in mind that you don't have to join if you don't want to. But the option is there if you choose to do so. Thanks again for watching everyone, and I'll see you all in the next video.